I love this side of you, but also I am only used to the calm there. Breathe. Don't let this make you unwell. Yes, indeed. Uh, I made a video about that, letting the negative energy out, grounding it out, using alchemy to transmute it into positive energy, but not letting it destroy you. Um, I do agree, though. Yes, this comment was on a video about GoFundMe that I was doing. Many people. I used to, and this is what I try to make the majority of my content about because I feel like we need more of it in this world. The happy-go-lucky, come with me on my coffee walk, I'm out on my daily walk, get up to my delightful coffee, let's look at the nature and the trees, forget about your worries and your woes, join me, remember that you're beautiful, it's okay, just breathe. That side of me is very important, and the, most of what you see on here, but there's another side of me, there's a godly side of me that is filled with righteous indignation. I have been through things you couldn't imagine, and I have learned not to trauma dump, but with what I have seen through the life that I have lived, I have come to the realization of how the world works, and when I see evil in it, I feel a responsibility to put an end to it. So changing the world has been a core aspect of my being since before I was even born. I've always felt like I was going to do great things when I, you asked me. Even before, even with my previous, I've gone through several near-death experiences and identity shifts. And the, this person that you see before you is the culmination of 26 and a half years of intense experience on this plane of existence and other planes of existence too. A video for another day, perhaps. But yes... I am inevitable. I am indestructible. Any who come against me with evil intentions will fail. I am here to galvanize humanity to actualize a utopian ideal because I know it's possible. Just look at all the technology that's coming out right now, all the AI breakthroughs, the fusion technology stuff, the biological stuff. We can solve mortality, hunger, every problem that humans have ever had can be solved in a decade. I guarantee it. The only thing standing in our way is generational trauma, negative energy. It has to be transmitted. It has to be found, called out. You have to basically exercise the collective demons out of the collective consciousness. Using the term demons has religious, religious baggage, but demon is just a force that causes you to act against your own best interest. We have to get rid of those. We have to get rid of the unconscious people that are being controlled by those that are in power. We have to get rid of the systems that put the people with the demons into the power. We have to build new systems that keep all the power local. No federal level shit, no state level shit, no countries, no governments, no bullshit. Local communities of people working together in distributed networks to equally give everybody, because there's enough resources, we already, the global GDP is enough to take care of everybody. There's enough stuff, you just got to distribute it equally, and that means you can't have billionaires hogging giant piles of it. Like if you just took just the billionaires in America, and you took just their money, just half of each of their money, and divided amongst everybody, we'd have so much. I just, I, I'll repost a video i just seen about that too, so... With what I've been through, I can see the way the world really is. I have taken myself apart to pieces and put myself back together again so many times that I understand how the universe works in fundamental ways that I can't even completely articulate or explain. And that's one of the reasons why I have a very extensive vocabulary and tend to ramble on about all kinds of different topics. I've been learning, and now this is it's kind of like a Jesus thing, you know? He goes to, when he turns age 33, he starts his mission. Apparently, for me, it wasn't 33, it was 23. But... Hi, I'm Mary. I'm born to change the world. I don't think I'm better than anybody, but when the world is in peril, forces at play culminate to actualize people like me, to talk to people like you, because I can't do it by myself. I'm a nucleation point. I'm a, I'm a leader, a teacher. I'm here to inspire and to raise up all of you, because we have to do it together. It has to be all of us. It can't just be one of us. You can't just vote for the right guy, pick the right... You got, it's going to be a boots-on-the-ground effort from everyone, and I'm here to be the spark that gets the fire going. It's always been my mission. And nobody's going to stand in my way. No government, no God, no people, no corporations, nothing. So if you'd like to join me on my mission and change the world, welcome to being a noun... And I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.